Hello everyone, my name is Mariam Mokhtar. Some of you may have experience of a toxic friend. You spend hours trying to calm them down or to assuage their feelings. They always appear to have some personal problem to sort out or claim that someone has deliberately upset them. Anyone with a toxic friend should dump him or her immediately. So what is the definition of a toxic friend? One person who recently dumped his toxic friend said, she was someone I met at a gym. At first, she appeared to be fun-loving, but once I got to know her better, I found that she was emotionally draining. It affected my health and work performance. So, I had to end the friendship. She was someone who wanted me to be at her beck and call, but if I wanted to talk about my own personal problems, she did not want to know. It was all about her. Nothing else mattered. She expected me to answer her calls at any time of day or night. She would bombard me with text messages and get angry if I would not take her calls immediately. So, how do you recognize a toxic friend? The following are telltale signs of such a person. Number one, a dismissive nature. They frequently moan that they have been wronged. They rarely want to talk about your concerns or how you spent your day. If you attempt to speak about yourself, they can be very insulting. Only what they do matters. Only their solutions are correct. And they are always dismissive of you and your closest friends. They ignore your efforts and claim that you achieved success only because of their help. They rarely acknowledge your achievements and they do have delusions of grandeur. Number two, being selfish. Only their interests matter. They expect you to wait on their emotional needs, to soothe them or to perk them up when they have had a bad day. If you say you are sick, they will claim that you are lying. And number three, being available. When it comes to your own needs, they do not want to know. They will only contact you when they want. And then number four, being manipulative. They contact you when they want something from you, but you rarely hear from them otherwise. If they are nice to you, you should realize that their charm hides an ulterior motive. They will use emotional blackmail to attempt to force you to do something against your will. Number five is about being sincere or in being insincere. They will gossip about others and claim that others are plotting against you. They claim that they are being used, but despite your attempts to tell them otherwise, they will turn on you and say that you are as bad as the rest. Number six is being reliable. They have a tendency to break their promises and come up with a list of excuses for being unable to keep theirs. Number seven is being personal. They cannot take any criticism, however slight, and they take offense very easily. And when that happens, they can be very vindictive and lash out without thinking. They do not care if they hurt other people's feelings. They have no time for compromise, for meeting others halfway, nor for re reconciliation. Number eight is being considerate. They expect others to go out of their way to accommodate their wishes, but they have no desire to consider other people's needs. The word sorry is not in their vocabulary. And number nine is possessive, possessiveness. 
as they find it difficult to make friends, they cannot imagine that you have other interests and would want to meet your other friends. They rarely share your happiness because they think, if I cannot have what you desire, then you cannot have it either. And um, number 10 is being insecure. As they have very low self-esteem and they lack confidence, they try to make you feel just as insecure. They will turn against you when you least expect it and they will twist your words. They are very intense people. Perhaps they are afraid that people will pick on them or blame them for no reason. They switch their emotions at the click of a finger and an almost insignificant um, incident can trigger um, a violent reaction in them. So, to conclude, if you recognize that your friend is toxic, get rid of him or her immediately. This person, your toxic friend, will drain you physically and emotionally because nothing you do will be good enough for him. Thank you for listening. Speak to you soon. Kalau anda suka video saya, sila tekan like dan subscribe pada channel YouTube saya. Pertimbangkan menyertai laman Patreon saya. Terima kasih.